with my 10 plus years of data science experience working in different projects, different types of industries and different domains, I am going to tell you some harsh reality of data science projects or data science agent space which you should know so that you are aware of these things. Let us see without any further delay. So guys, let us start with a basic one. Okay. So I go to LinkedIn and I search for data science jobs in United Kingdom. You can search for any other place as well. And let us see a few of the requirements. Okay. So first requirement lead data scientist, some organization, and I will just focus on what they are looking for. See here background of ML or data science, strong background of marketing and commercial. Okay. Good understanding of deep learning, machine learning experience with DevOps, CI, CD, Azure stack and Databricks. See how many things is written here. Okay. Superb stakeholder management and comm skills. Now let's keep this aside and come to any other uh, job requirement random. Uh, I'm just opening this one senior data scientist because lead and senior looks kind of similar. Okay. So if we come here, then you see that in the role of data scientist, you will build panoptic semantic and instant segmentation model to deliver high quality, high accuracy and low latency models. Okay. Now, uh, if you observe guys, lead data scientist and senior data scientist are nothing but more or less same level of experience people they are asking. Okay. But the skill set they are asking is totally different. Now, this is not between these two only. You can open many openings and you will see that the skill set they are asking is very, very different from each other. Now, why this is a problem? Let me try to explain you. So let's say Aman works in an organization for five years. Okay. Aman works in an organization for how many years? Five years. Okay. In these five years, Aman develops, let's say X skill, Y skill, Z skill. Okay. After five years, when Aman wants to change job, then Aman is looking for a data science role in, for example, Amazon. Okay. One option, for example, Facebook, other option, for example, Google third option. Now it is possible that all these three organizations are hiring data scientists, but they are not hiring in XYZ skills because data science is such a huge field, such a huge area. As I showed you two examples now that these guys might be working in any of those areas. There are like hundreds and two hundreds of things. Okay. These guys may have requirement in XYZ or may not have requirement in XYZ. So when Aman wants to change the job, it's not like Aman can go to any random organization and apply for data science role. Aman has to look where hiring in XYZ skill is happening. So what happens here? Your, your path gets narrowed. Your opportunities gets narrowed. Okay. Though you are a data scientist, but you cannot apply to apply to all the data science positions. Okay. That is problem number one. What is the other problem due to this? The other problem is, let's say in your 15 years of career, right? First five years, you work on one kind of skill set. Next five years, you work on other kind of skill set. Next five years, you work on other kind of skill set. Because as you saw in some examples, organization A is expecting data scientist to do one thing. Organization B is expecting data scientist to do other thing. Okay. So what may happen? Your career, if you see 15, 20 years long career, right? It may not look very, very, uh, you know, your progression or your promotion or your, what do you say, your learning or your path or your growth in terms of monetary benefits. It may not be very, very smooth because it's not very, very well defined. Okay. There will always be confusions in your roles, responsibilities, what you did previously, what you are doing now, what you will do in the future. That is one big problem I see in data science industry. Okay. What is the other problem? Other problem comes from the definition itself. Okay. So data science is made up of two words. One is called data and other is called science. Okay. So I will explain the point number two with the first word data. Now guys, the first thing what data scientists need, data scientists need data. Okay. And believe me guys, it's not easy to get data. Why? Let me give you one example with the simple organization. For example, 
let us take flipkart okay i want to do a analysis of flipkart data for that i need a comprehensive view of flipkart customer what what i mean by comprehensive view i want let's say customer demographics customer age gender etc then i want customers order information then i want customers what kind of product customer is buying for example more of a electronics or more of a home product or more of a baby care what kind of product they are buying then i want some more information like whether customer is active in campaigns or you know big billion days those kind of information also i need so i i give you example i need information from four different areas okay one area is customer personal attributes let's write here let's say customer personal attributes second area is let's say campaign data or you can say big billion data etc campaign data okay third is i want to have a flipkart product mapping data for example what they are calling as baby care what they are calling as electronics etc and then i also need orders data okay i am giving you flipkart example because you will be able to relate okay so i need data from four uh, different business areas now it's not always that you will find all these data at one place and it's not easy to get the data at one place why because most of the times these data will be stored in different different locations different different servers different different business units or business areas will be owning these data okay and it's not at all easy to get the stakeholders from all these units get the data quickly combine all the data quickly for your analysis this will eat lot of your time lot of your patience lot of your energy lot of unnecessary approvals unnecessary you know emails unnecessary all these things will come into picture okay but the the harsh truth is without this data you cannot proceed for analysis you need a holistic picture right you need a comprehensive view then only you can do the analysis so the first thing that we need as a data scientist data we don't get data in the form we should get and it's not easy to get the data we need in the form we need okay that's problem number 2 the harsh reality okay now how to prepare this data or what data will we need it these things i have explained in my course data science zero to hero you will see the link in the description if you want you can check that course now festive offers is going on in that course you can go ahead and check the it's like lowest price ever on that course due to the festival season okay coming to the third point guys as i told you in the harsh reality of data science the third thing comes from the word science okay try to understand this carefully s c i e n c e right now i have opened a tab here in my browser where i have searched the definition of science okay what is science science is the intellectual and practical activity encompassing the forget all these things just see the last line through observation and experiment okay science is all about observations and experiments now when we talk of experiments there are two things that that is critical here when we talk of experiment one is somebody who does an experiment right he or she may fail there is a big possibility that your experiment may fail okay but corporates do not look at data science like that so how corporates will look at data science is i am putting x dollars okay and i should get y dollars as the output but unfortunately in any science experiment it will not work like that boss okay if you put x dollars you are putting that on the observations on the experiments your experiments may fail your data may not be the data which needs machine learning or which is suitable for machine learning there is a big possibility that i try my best but my model may not come out good in that case if you put x dollars in my project you can very well get 0 dollars as the output but corporates are not ready for this because they have done investment they want returns that is problem number 1 in this space problem number 2 is science is all about giving the full free hand to the person who is doing the experiment okay suppose you are doing an experiment in chemistry lab i tell you hey don't touch sulfuric acid hey 
don't touch water or don't touch this component. You need to have 100 approvals to touch sulfuric acid. You need to have 100 approvals to touch water. To use this container, you need another 10 approvals. So what I'm trying to tell you is somebody who does a scientific experiment, right? He should, he or she should not be tired. His, his, his or her hands should not be tired. But the, if you work on the ground, right, you will see that you will have a lot of restriction in terms of data, in terms of what package you can install, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of how freely you can use the infra. All these things is going to hamper down the productivity and hence the entire concept of science you know, goes for a talks. Due to this reason, I always tell, try to understand people, data science is a science. It's an experiment which can fail. The person who is doing the experiment, you have to give them full freedom to do the, do the experiment. Then there is a possibility something good can come. But unfortunately, that is not the scene on the ground, okay? Let's talk about point number four, harsh reality of data science. Point number four is, force fitting data science force fitting okay at the places where it is not needed now why this is being done many organizations many managers many stakeholders many senior leadership what they will do is whenever they are preparing a use case in data space right they will just put a slide for data science and ai without thinking anything okay now if you put a slide for data science and ai then what will happen is you need to force fit some machine learning or something in that which may not be needed at all. To do that, you need to hire some data scientist. To do that, you need to pay them. If you pay them, then money goes out of your pocket. And since data science was not needed here at the first place, so all these exercises is going to bring zero result. Okay. And what will happen is you are ruining the career of a data scientist, number one. Number two, you are just burning some money unnecessarily. Number three, something which could have done very easily with simple SQL or simple Power BI. You did not use SQL or Power BI to do that. Rather, you unnecessarily complicated the project, you know, wasted money and diluted the fundamental concept of AI and machine learning. And, you know, it did not look very well in front of leadership also. So people are trying to force fit, which is a very, very big problem in the space I see now. And what is the fifth point I want to talk about, about the harsh reality of data sciences? I don't know how many of you know about this, but less than 10% of the data science project go into the production. Okay. Which means that if 10 projects are being worked on, less than one project, less than one project is going to the production and being utilized. What is the reason for this? Try to understand some reasons, guys. Number one, insufficient data. Very, very important and very, very crucial, I will say, reason. Insufficient data because, as I told you, data will be lying at different places. You may not get data. Sometimes your data is not uh, not having that pattern which machine learning is trying to understand, okay? So you can say data, uh, you know, data quality is not that great or data quality issue, you can say. Data quality issue. This can be in terms of your patterns or in terms of your maybe missing value, maybe outliers or maybe the random values, whatever you call it, data quality issues. Then some team coordination. If team coordination is not proper, right? then it is very difficult to deploy your data science models because you need some CICD, some pipelines, some machine learning engineers, many people you need to deploy your model, right? And then comes the, comes the important thing of infra, then comes the, there are many reasons, okay? Infra abilities, okay? Many reasons can be coming here, which, which will make your data science project not getting deployed in the production, okay? The retraining approach or how do you do the, you know, live implementation or how do you take the live data into the prediction? All these things may, may cause your data science project not going into the production. And if for any reason this happens, that means that organization has burned the money. If organization has burned the money, what will happen? It is going to hit you and me. Okay, so tomorrow they are not going to extend data science team. Your variables is going to cut. Cut. You are not going to get good hike. Many things can happen there. Okay, 
So this is another reality that you need to understand. It's not easy to stay in data science and you know keep growing because of all these dependencies, okay? So I discussed about five critical things here that you need to understand one by one. Number one, the roles and responsibilities are not very clear and smooth. Number two, you will not get right data to do the analysis very easily. Number three, you will not given free hand to do the scientific, scientific experiments and the expectation is, is different. Number four, people try to force fit, which is diluting the data science and AI. And number five, there are very less projects which go into the production because of multiple issues. And if it, it is happening on the ground, that means money is getting burned. If money is getting burned means you and me are going to get hit. Okay. One more thing I want to tell you guys that, you know, you may like or you may not like. Data science is one field where you know, this is kind of one bonus, you can say harsh reality, I want you to know. So data science is, is a field where things change very rapidly, okay? I'm not saying it is not changing in other areas, for example, software development, it is changing, but in data science, it is changing very, very rapidly and fast, okay? So one thing what you have to do as a data scientist is, you have to always study, okay? You have to always study. Whatever you do on the job, that may not be sufficient, okay? Now, think think from a from a generic uh, perspective, guys. You you work in the office, you have your family, you do many things, and then every time if you have a consistent pressure of studying and reading something, right? Is that a good thing to have? I mean, sometimes it's okay, but every six months or eight months or one year, everything is changing, right? So so this is again one consistent pressure that will be there on your head. So this is one more thing I just, it came to my mind. So I covered here, okay? So my idea was not to make you afraid or make you, you know, negative thought about data science. My idea was to give you some few things that you should know that will help you in long run, okay? So you should be mentally prepared for all these things. So give me a thumbs up guys, if you like this video, my job is to bring the right information to you. And please drop me a comment on what do you think on any of these points. I will see you all in the next video, guys. Please help me reaching 40K soon. Please subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next video, wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.